I'm about to whip out extreme violence. I'm so serious. I am so tempted and wreak havoc upon everybody in this restaurant. What is up everyone? It is me, Solita Sims. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are back in Ciudad and Amarada for the third time with my newest sim, Celeste Singh. We've been having some fun with Celeste lately. I've made two videos about her so far. One involved her woohooing with every man in Ciudad and Amarada and one video involving her woohooing with every woman, which if you've watched that video, you know, didn't work out too well in our favor. Um, we didn't really get to woohoo with every woman because not every woman was interested in woohoo with women. So that was a bummer. But we also did meet the ring bearer, Sammy Garcia, and finish his quest, which involved finding his ring. We went on a little date with him and we took him home, baby. And we made him forget all about his ex. I've had a lot of fun with these two challenges, but now I want to move on to something different. Something that popped up in my most recent video about Celeste when she was trying to woohoo with every woman. And that is the new reality dating TV show that comes with this pack. Celeste got a phone call from Valentina Nadir, one of her conquests that failed epically. I asking her if she was interested in joining a reality TV show called Seven Wild Dates, which would involve her having to go on seven different dates within a matter of few days, having a team record this in the process and finding at least one perfect date out of all of them. I thought this was really interesting when I got it, but I didn't want to do it last episode. But I figured for today, being back with Celeste over here, we should try and do that today. So I got the phone call again and she has this buff right here. One out of seven wild dates. Celeste has opted to participate in the wild new reality show, Seven Wild wild dates. She must have at least one perfect date by the time the smooth expires to keep things going. Apparently there are hidden cameras, but Celeste doesn't notice anything. Very fun, very interesting. Right now Celeste is just watching the new reality dating TV show that comes with this pack, which is hilarious. I think this is the funniest thing The Sims has done in a really long time. If you haven't watched it on your Sims TV, please go and watch it. It's it, You won't be disappointed. But yes, that is the goal for today's video, to take Celeste out on the seven wild dates. And I do have some conquests in mind that I want to go on a date with. Manuel Aguilar is one of Celeste's conquests from our first video when she was woohooing with every man in Ciudad and Amarada. They got along very well. She finds him very attractive and so far they haven't had any rifts get in their way. Unlike last episode when Yoltik walked in on her with Sammy Garcia at the club and we left him a little heartbroken. Speaking of Yoltik, I would like to also take him on a date. I know things went a little awry last episode when he walked in on them, but I still have love in my heart for Yoltik and it'd be really cool to see them end up together. Third would be Sammy Garcia. Sammy Garcia is so fine. And we did all that work for him to find his ring and help him get out of that damn bear costume. So of course we're gonna have to try him out. And him and Celeste get along very well. I wanna take Celeste on three dates using the Cupid's Corner app, meaning that she's gonna get paired up with some random sims from the gallery. And last but not least, I want her to go on a date with this man, this random sim that called her a little bit earlier while I was playing with Celeste on my own, whose name is Luke Whiting. And I will show you some footage from them interacting a bit earlier. I also want to mention that I'm happy to announce I've become an EA affiliate, meaning that whenever you use my code Salita Sims at checkout on the EA app or on the Sims 4 official website when buying any Sims 4 DLC, I will get a small commission from that sale. So if you would like to support me and this channel, this would be a great way to do so. Again, that is Salita Sims at checkout on the EA app or on the Sims 4 website when purchasing any Sims 4 DLC. Thank you so much for all your support always. Y'all, okay, I'm just sitting here with Celeste. She's watching her telenovela before she's starting her day. Look who it is! Oh my God, who invited you here? Sammy, who asked you to judge me about cheating on my partners? Okay, you're losing a point, Sammy. Girl, what the hell? Oh, hell nah, uh-uh. You know, I haven't used. <laughs> One of my favorite mods just yet. I'm thinking now's the time because excuse me, Jeffrey, your wife just died and you're really over here hitting my girl up. You should be planning a funeral for your wife. <laughs> I am in disbelief in this save file. I'm in disbelief with the sheer audacity of these men that Celeste has been dealing with. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You do not go to someone's house, someone's penthouse that is, and start peeping through their windows as they're watching telenovelas. I bet she won't come back around here again. I bet she won't come back around here again. Oh. 
all were scared. And while my girl was watching the reality dating network and just getting her romance skill up, I got this call from an anonymous caller. Hi there, you do not know me, but I saw you from afar and asked a mutual friend for your number. I hope you don't mind. I'm hopelessly attracted to you. I promise I'm chill. Would you like to meet me? I think we have to go. I think we have to go. And I mean, I'm scared. I don't know if this is like part of the pack, part of the base game, part of a mod and the sitch is going to get kidnapped or something, but I'm intrigued. So um, I guess we're going on a date with a mysterious caller. Oh, that's swell. Let me get my jacket and I'll come to your house right away. My house? How do you know where I live? And they already began romantic satisfaction. Luke has learned that Celeste is unemployed. Celeste and Luke are both very satisfied. Y'all just met. <laughs> I'm so sick of Celeste. <laughs> So sick of her. And she reached romance level five. She can suggest back-to-back woohoo and recap woohoo with other sims. She can also reaffirm devotion to her partners with high romantic points. And she can also compliment personality. So she got some new riz. Okay. Now the anonymous caller, that would be Luke. Who is Luke? Luke Whiting. Oh, he's kind of cute. He needs a little bit of a makeover, but he's kind of cute. Celeste is unattracted to him. <laughs> but very satisfied despite not knowing him. He's very attracted to her and his satisfaction is unknown. His turn-ons are culinary, drink making, and slacker sims, and his turn-offs are sense of humor. Uh, uh, Luke, I don't know if this is gonna work, buddy. I don't know. And his turn-ons are egotistical sims, and his turn-offs are messy sims. Okay, so is this man seriously coming over to her house right now? What? <laughs> Carmen, what are you doing here? <laughs> Oh my god, did my girl give it to you good last night or something? Hello there, I was stopping in search of a bit of inspiration. Perhaps we can ruminate some ideas together? Um, what do you mean by that? <laughs> Let me change her outfit. Let me change her outfit. I gave her some more outfits from this pack. Maybe she should do something sexy like this one. I've been waiting for her to use this outfit. Let's just get right to it. <laughs> I'm sure Woohoo can be inspiring. Since Luke isn't here yet, surely this won't mess with their romantic satisfaction. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Don't show up now, Luke. We're a little busy right now, Luke. Why is Jeffrey calling again? No. Luke Leave her alone. So this is the mysterious Luke Whiting. He's actually, yeah, he is kind of cute. I, th I thought she was going to get paired with like a really ugly townie, but no, he's cute. He just needs like a little, little face overlay or something, but he's not bad. And he's dressed kind of snazzy. Like where did this man come from? Is he a townie? Does he come with this pack as like one of the homeless Sims? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> If you've never seen what Woohoo looks like <laughs> without the bed in the way, there you go. Oh, hello. Who said you could just come in here? Who said you could read my books? Did you even bother knocking? Sir? Oh, I don't know if I like you right now. They have almost maxed out romance and no friendship. <laughs> you don't even know the man, but you're, you're deeply in love with this man already. How does that work, Celeste? How does that work? You can go away now, Carmen. You've served your purpose. Go ahead and introduce ourselves. Oh my. Oh my, off the bat. We hate each other. Why? <laughs> Celeste thinks that he's distant and Luke's is anti-crush. Listen, this is like the third anti-crush sentiment we've gotten. And I just want to know, I want to know your thought process, Luke. You call her up because you are attracted to her. You literally get her number. Now you're anti-crush. What is with the men in the save file? Is it the outfit? Was she a little too bold for you wearing this outfit? Celeste is a woman who knows what she wants and knows how she wants it, okay? If you can't handle that, you guys might not be the right pair for each other, okay? You may not be man enough for her. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I need to keep my door locked. Oh my God, we're about to ruin every relationship <laughs> she's ever had. I was gonna ask Luke right now. I was gonna ask what triggers his jealousy and what doesn't because they have such a high romance bar that I can ask him that. And of course he had to walk in. Maybe if we're lucky, this won't trigger him, but um, no guarantees there. Damn it, why do they always show up in the worst times? Luke doesn't feel romantic jealousy, which is cool. And he's open to reconsidering romantic boundaries. Barging in here, don't mind me. We're practically best friends right? I am the best neighbor around. Not sure why all the other neighbors are avoiding me. Since he's here, we might as well ask what his romantic boundaries are as well. <laughs> Want to get at least partially and do... Uh, I'm sorry. Not right now. 
maybe later. So Sammy will not feel romantic jealousy. So I can flirt with these two in front of each other and they're not gonna do anything? Is that what I'm understanding? Oh my God, he's not reacting. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Are you, are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> No, but um, maybe, maybe later in the video. <laughs> okay, meanwhile, I've learned some more things about Luke over here. So his boundaries is that nothing, nothing triggers his jealousy. And the same thing goes for Sammy. They both do not care. I am so happy about that. Finally, I have something working in my favor for once. This is great. This is peaceful. Celeste is getting all the male validation she wants and we still get to know Luke in the meantime. He does not care. I'm, oh my God, I'm blown away. Also, I noticed something very interesting. After Sammy had walked in and after he left, Celeste has this new moodlet. Um, she found the one from Finding Soulmate. Celeste can't believe it. It didn't even seem possible, but she has found the one. And near the one I love from being near Soulmate, things just feel a bit brighter when Celeste is near her soulmate. Now, I thought this was about Luke and I almost lost my mind, but no, it is in fact about Sammy Garcia. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> as fine as Sammy is and as easygoing their relationship has been so far, I have encountered a little issue and that involves Sammy's turn-ons and turn-offs. This man is interested in affection, but not the least bit interested in everything else. Flirting, gift giving, physical intimacy, and woohoo, which makes no sense because we just woohooed with him last episode. This is bad because Celeste is a love bug. Celeste is a love bug. She wants to love her partner. She wants to give him all the love she possibly can. I don't know if this is gonna work, but they're soulmates too, which makes things so much messier. All right, well, I'm just gonna get started then. It is three in the morning, so it's not the perfect time to go on a date. So I'm gonna have Celeste go to sleep and then we will start with our mission for going on our seven wild dates in the morning. All right, it is the next morning. Celeste is looking good. She's feeling herself. I put her in a whole new outfit. She has a completely new wardrobe. Most of it, again, from this pack and she looking good. I think the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try Cupid's Corner because that's something I haven't really experimented with. I think I'm gonna redo her picture as well. Give her something real cute. Ooh, this is Look at her. We've upgraded her picture and she describes herself as heartbreaker and love bug. I think we're gonna remove heartbreaker and I think we are going to put dance machine instead. We don't want them knowing that she's a heartbreaker, okay? And she's gonna be attracted to young adults and adults. She likes women and men. So Michelle, she's child of the nature and timid and she is a young adult, okay? Remington is a baby mama, okay? And high priest, no thank you Eva. Shrivastava. Heaven. She is an adult, body conscious, and appealing. We have Erwin Ill. No. <laughs> Dolores. Oh, okay, so this is a gallery sim. She has nothing on her at all, okay. Tammy, cowardly and cruel, and Paca. Oh my God, we only got one gallery sim. Maybe we should try Dolores. I could give her like a really quick makeover and cast. Nothing, nothing too dramatic, you know, just give her some hair. <laughs> Let's give Dolores a shot. All right, and I'm thinking we're gonna do a simple get to know you date. Woohoo. Maybe they could star or cloud gaze. They can be friendly with each other. It would be cute to paint and maybe they could play the board game. I'm thinking that I want them to go to the park. Let's go on our little get to know you date. Oh my God. <laughs> I, uh, I can't go down any further because there is nothing there. But our facial features are very nice, very pleasing. So yeah, I'm gonna go in a cast real quick, give her some hair, put a dress on her, and then we can get started with this date. Okay, so this is the look I ended up going with, with Dolores. I gave her this blondy hair because that's what her eyebrow color was. And I think she looks super cute. So let's go ahead and say hi to our date, Dolores. So let's get started with the small talk that is one of their requirements. Let's ask her about her career. She is unemployed. Dolores is enjoying the date and would like to spend more time together. Perhaps you would like to extend the date to last longer. We just started, but ugh, how long is the date already? I mean, I need to make time for these other people. We only have four days and we have six more dates to go on, but I guess I'll accept for now. I mean, if she's really liking her, then might as well. So now our date is 10 hours. Oh, I should have said no. Oh my God, Nancy's grave. <laughs> still here. <laughs> All right, right now they're sharing their interests. So we'll get to find out a little bit more about Dolores. And then I think I'm gonna have them go ahead and paint together. I did put these easels up here. Have a paint date. That is so cute. Oh, what? 
what? She's giving her a rose? Oh my. Let's see what we've learned so far about Dolores. So she's a goofball and she's creative. She is unemployed. They have good compatibility. Celeste finds her attractive and she thinks the romantic satisfaction is fine. Okay, things are going very well. This is so cute. Oh, what are you? What is that? She's doing well. I wonder what she's painting. It looks like a cat. Oh my God, I was right. <laughs> okay, they're done with painting. So I think the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have them sky gaze. The same exact bench we ruined their marriage at. <laughs> this is going insanely well. You see how little issues you have when you go on a date with women versus men? They've already painted and it wants me to paint again. Okay, you know what? Screw this. We're just gonna go woo with Jeffrey. Oh. oh no, is he here? Oh, this man has to be stalking me. You've gotta be kidding me, right? So let's get right back to the small talk. I wanna get to know Dolores a little bit more, what's going on in her life. And we can have a magical first kiss in the air already, okay? <laughs> What the hell is huh? that? Oh, there's a new ring bear. Oh, so the quest just like resets itself every time. So you could keep finding new ring bears to take home with you. Well, that's nice. That's nice of the game to consider the girlies. All right, with their first kiss out of the way, that means I should be able, yep, to woohoo with Dolores finally. Let's get to business. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, my girl. <laughs> A puking emoji? Okay. Oh, I get it. It's like, <laughs> it's like that one game. Oh, their date has been completed. Yes. We got one perfect date down. Six more to go. That is a lot now looking at it. Oh, I get this game. I forget what it's called in real life, but this is something my friends and I would play at the amusement park when we were waiting in line for rides. This is so cute. Oh my God, I love this. Girl, you're not doing a good job describing this. Okay, their date's been complete. And since we're approaching like three days now with the dates left and we still have six more to go, I think it's best if I go ahead and cancel this date early. Yes, we got the gold medal. Wow, that was such a legendary date. Your sim was on fire out there. There's a gift in your sim's inventory to help you remember such a great time. Try customizing the description using the name interaction. Cherish memories portrait. Aw, that's so cute. Is it a photo of them? Aw. From a Amazing date. Celeste is bouncing off the walls from excitement after that date. She can't wait to gush other Sims about such an amazing time. And the mood that got updated. Two out of seven wild dates. All right, we just have six more to go. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to Dolores and let's move on to date number two, who I'm thinking for this one will be Luke Whiting. Right in front of Dolores, too. <laughs> Now, I got to know Luke a little bit earlier when I was playing with her on my own. So I think for this one, we're just going to go on a romantic date. And I think for this one, let's see. Of course, we want to woohoo. I have not woohooed with him, actually. We're going to get some drinks, do some dancing, maybe take some selfies to save the moment. And maybe we should try singing. We're going back to the nightclub, Mirador del Amor in Nuevo Corazon. Oh, and if you're enjoying this video so far, maybe think about leaving a like, comment, and subscribe for me. It really helps me out. Thank you so much much okay we're here with luke he is in a bad mode for some reason that's not cool okay well hopefully this doesn't mess up our perfect date streak that we're having so far how cute also why is sammy here sammy i know we're soulmates and all but like why are you eavesdropping on my date that's a little that's a little weird like i said earlier he doesn't have any problems with flirting or woohoo or literally anything so he's not gonna care about what we do with luke over here i think right now i'm gonna have the two of them dance oh yeah girl break it down <laughs> oh my oh my Oh my. Okay, I put a karaoke machine up here um, so they can sing together. Let's have them a oh, country duet, I guess. So for some reason, the audio decided to cut out during this date with Luke. That's just amazing. Love that. Love when that happens. But honestly, it wasn't that exciting of a date. They danced, they talked. They also went to do some karaoke. After that, I was having them flirt a little bit, get to know each other a little bit more. And for some reason, Luke decided that he did not want to reciprocate the romantic interactions that Celeste was initiating, which is just stellar considering he is the sim that asked her on the date. Whatever. I was getting sick of him at this point. So I had them take some selfies and I had them end their night with a little bit of woohoo in the closet. And while they were woohooing, I was thinking about a comment that someone had left under one of my Lovestruck videos saying that they were super surprised that Celeste hadn't gotten pregnant yet or hadn't had any WTDs pop up yet. And I was like, that is surprising. Maybe, maybe, just maybe. I should check MC Command Center. She totally won't be pregnant.
she was indeed fucking pregnant. <gasps> no, no, stop, stop right now. No, she got pregnant right now with this ugly ass EA man. Oh no, oh no, no, we're, we're taking that. We're going to Planned Parenthood after this, uh-uh. Uh -uh. I think it's time to go drink something. I need a drink after that. And you know, we're not keeping this, we're not keeping this baby anyway. Dude, why does this keep happening to me? Why do they keep showing up at the worst times? Man, oh no, he's one of the few that Celeste is on good terms with. And of course he shows up while Celeste is on a date with another man. Ah, this is not... <laughs> This is not working for me. Oh my god. What has this turned into? We're almost there. The date is almost over. Oh my god. Don't be saying anything about Nubus. He really stopped their karaoke mid-song so he could play with his cube again. Yeah, we have to. We have to get rid of this man's child. I'm mad at him. I don't know. I, I don't think I want to be around him anymore. So you know what? I'm just going to have her complete these <laughs> all by herself. Oh my god. Got an hour and 38 minutes. <laughs> oh my god. I just realized I can ask to extend the date. <laughs> Asked to extend date. What is he gonna say? If he wastes my time. Okay, good. He said yes. Good. Now I have more time. They are almost done. And I think after we're completed, I'm just gonna end the date super abruptly because we gotta run to Planned Parenthood real quick. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, we got two perfect dates. And now since that is out of the way and their date has been complete, we're gonna end the day in a very, uh, very special way. Oh no. We gotta go. Yikes. Yeah, we, we gotta go. Sorry. Sorry about that, Luke. <laughs> okay, let's go home. We're back from that disaster. Don't be acting all relaxed, girl. You're not gonna be relaxed when you come over here and you take that pregnancy test. I hate her bad for this. I hate her so bad for this, girl. What do you mean? What do you? No, we're not. No, we're not celebrating nothing. <laughs> Oh no, 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 no. Um, yeah. Bye. She's actually happy about it. Does she actually want children? Oh my God, she does. She'd be happy to have a child. Well, <laughs> Celeste's pregnancy was terminated. Fantastic. And she's a little bit, uh, a little bit dazed from it. She's gonna feel dazed for two days. We are getting rid of that. We're not dealing with that right now because we still have more dates to go on. Okay. I'm sorry, girly. We will give you another child one day, but not today. We have all these dates we need to go on. I guess let's let her get her sleep and then we will continue with our dates. It is the morning. Celeste is feeling very refreshed and ready to get on with her next couple of dates. So I'm thinking since it's the morning time, we can go on a little maybe picnic date or something like a nice little romantic park date. And I was thinking it was time that we call up Yoltik again, try to repair the romance that we once had with him. Devastating, devastating that he caught us last episode on a date with Sammy and we broke off all of our romantic satisfaction. They are also strained right now and have bad compatibility and everything triggers his jealousy. So yeah, this should be uh, interesting to say the least, but let's see if he even wants to go on the date with her. Come on, Yoltik, please, please. We want to repair what we once had. No, he's declaring Klein going out on a date with Celeste. Try getting to know him better romantically. Also, a Sim's mood can change the outcome. Sometimes talking in person is the best option. Are you kidding me? Did I miss my shot from not starting a new relationship? Celeste can't believe she didn't go for it. What is she waiting for? Some Sim to fall into her lap? That just doesn't happen. And now potential interest has slipped away. Maybe it's not too late. We're gonna try Manuel then. Let's let's ask Manuel out on a date. Look at her. She's still in a good mood. She's not gonna let Yoltik and his antics stop her. Okay. Yoltik, we never said anything about being exclusive so you being all pissy is not sitting right with me okay we're here with manuel manuel is still looking fine as hell can we have a picnic we can have a picnic okay there's really nothing breakfast like here maybe we'll just do some flirty heart cookies i guess are you meditating or something you're not gonna grab a cookie or this is what i love about manuel he's so easygoing there's like no struggles with him but while we're here i think i want to ask him about his relationship details like his romantic boundaries i want to know what he's like nothing triggers his jealousy good <laughs> i don't <laughs> i don't want to deal with any more stress so i don't have to worry about anything when it comes to manuel either that's nice let's have them talk a little bit and then we'll go ahead and kiss him there we go there we go. Oh. Oh 
my, he's obsessed with her. He's obsessed with her. This is just what I need. New romantic dynamic, steamy. Yes, we can admit they're steamy. Okay, and they're supposed to woohoo. It says something else. <laughs> we have the motel over here. I wonder if that would count. Let's go, let's go rent a little room with Manuel since they're getting along so well right now. Oh, perfect. What an actual perfect date. Nothing went wrong. They have amazing compatibility. Oh my, it might be looking like he might be the one. I need to ask him about his turn-ons and turn-offs and his satisfaction and attraction. Okay, after they get their little room, they'll do that. I'm, I'm curious of what this looks like. Oh, she's using birth control now. Smart girl. Oh, this is something. Ah, the satellites. It's Jamie. He's very attracted and he's satisfied. Okay, okay, okay. He hasn't really thought about this stuff, to be honest. He hasn't thought about his turn-ons. And since their date is already at gold, it's already perfect, I think it's time to end it because we have so many more dates to go on. Next up, I think we're gonna do, I'm thinking maybe we pay a visit to Yoltik. You know, try to, try to revive that romance that we had. That romance that is long gone now. And we have four out of seven wild dates done. So we've done Manuel, Luke, and Dolores. And I don't know why, for some reason, that counts as four. So we have three left to go. We have Sammy, Yoltik, and then one other Sim from Cupid's Corner. Bye! Can I convince him to hang out? Come on. Please, Yoltik. <gasps> He's here. There he is. Hey, boo. How you doing? It's been a minute. <laughs> Let's see, she has the higher romance skill now. How about, yeah, we recap our woohoo together. It was an experience, wasn't it? Come on, you remember those, you remember that fondly, huh? 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 He's tense now? Oh, he's probably thinking about how she treated him. Oh, God. She feels slight discontent from being unsatisfied in a romantic relationship. Celeste ponders how her partner is feeling, given that romantic satisfaction may be different between partners. I don't think he's feeling so good, Celeste, if you're wondering. I don't think he's, I don't think he's too happy. Just give her a chance. Yes, let it happen. Let the feelings resurface. Even though he's tense, they seem to be getting along. Their romance has gone up a little bit. There we go. Yes. See? I'm feeling very unsatisfied. A relationship. I'm sorry. This is your fault. Why is she cussing him out? Don't cuss him out. You two just gonna stare at each other all day? Come on. We got things to do here. Okay, didn't work on that blanket for some reason. Now they're gonna now they're gonna do it. Okay, great. Finally. And Yoltik was smart enough to use protection too. He ain't trying to have no babies oh oh no oh oh no <laughs> of course this would happen to me Yoltik is gonna see this and i have to reject the marriage proposal which is gonna put a strain between her and manuel <sighs> god damn it god damn it can i have a moment of peace see i broke his heart oh my god this is terrible he's just watching them woohoo literally why do they show up at the worst times you're just gonna stand there and wait these men are some freaks i swear him and carlos did this so we're gonna dip we're gonna dip super fast you have to go on a date with me now don't give me that bs i don't want to go on a date i don't care he said yes let's go let's just go to his workplace laguna de la Brazo. i'm going to get straight into it with him i need to know what is our satisfaction she is very satisfied, but he has had some beef with us <laughs> since he walked in on us. Last video, should have just stayed at home and minded your goddamn business. Let's work on our romantic dynamic. Yes, let's make things better because our options are kind of slim right now. <laughs> <laughs> and let's definitely ask him about romantic satisfaction and his romantic style attraction. Because if this man doesn't like love, I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know if this is going to work. Yoltik wasn't open to working on the romantic dynamic with Celeste. She will have to try again after some time has passed and both Sims are ready to talk, both in a good mood and in a positive conversation. Oh my God. He's very unsatisfied, I figured. Oh God, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm not comfortable talking about attraction with you right now. Oh my God. He is really upset upset with us. He is really upset with us. We have work to do. Oh no. I keep forgetting he's romantically reserved, but yes, he is unsatisfied. Yoltik is unsatisfied with his romance with Celeste. Improve this through romantic interactions that cater to each other's sim romance style turn-ons. Well, I could do that if he wanted to tell me about them and avoid the romance style turn-offs. Also be mindful not to be mean or violate any romantic boundaries. So we're just going to do a bunch of romantic interactions until we can get this man to like her again. Like I said in the first video, this is too 
much work for a man. Ooh, tell dirty Joe. Let's have some deep conversations with him. Oh my God. This man is so difficult. This man is so difficult. I am kind of over him at this point. If I'm being genuinely honest, I know he is romantically reserved, but I'm just kind of, I'm not feeling him anymore. I don't know. Like, I feel like they're going to fight a lot. I don't know. This is sad, but it's true. I don't feel like her and Yoltuk should end up together. You know, I think they're just going to have this date and that's going to be that. I just don't see a future happening between the two of them anymore. He's too much. He's too much. He's such a princess. <laughs> and our romance bar has barely moved up. He is enamored, but that's not really going to get us anywhere, is it? Look at her. She's walking away. She's over him. Girl, I don't blame you. I'm over him too. A few moments later. Oh, they're making out. They did that all on their own. Oh my God. Discuss happiness in a relationship. Oh, he is still feeling unsatisfied. Are you kidding me? What more do you want? All right, I'm over him. It's done. Yoltik is done. I'm sorry. I loved Yoltik. I rooted for Yoltik. I'm I'm over it. I can't do this anymore. These mind games, this control he has over me when we're literally not in a relationship. I'm over it. I'm fed up. We are leaving the date. We got what we needed and we've completed the date. No more flirting. We're going on Cupid's Corner now. We are getting another date. And then after that, we will meet up with Sammy. We got the mood lit. Five out of seven wild dates complete. Great. This is going very well. I'm so excited to see what the reward will be after all of this is done. If she gains any fame from that, that'd be really cool. Let's look at our options right in front of him. We have Reed, who is a beach lover and an animal enthusiast. Okay. We have Magdalena, who looks botched. Oh my God. Why does she look like that? We have Sterling, who is insane and hedonistic. We have Monica, hell to the no. We have Walker, disorganized attachment and goofball. That sounds like hell. And we have Katrina Caliente. I'm thinking we should go with another girl maybe. So let's try Magdalena. Let's set up a date with Magdalena. So remember earlier how I said the audio decided to suddenly cut out? <laughs> yeah, well, it did it again. <laughs> so I had my date with Magdalena. The issue was though, that I tried this five times. I wanted Celeste and Magdalena to go to a restaurant that I put down, a restaurant lot downtown. And every time we would go to the restaurant with Magdalena, the date would immediately cancel itself and say date not successful. So that was really freaking annoying. And I was like, hmm, what should I do? Should we go to the restaurant, try a date with another sim? And I just decided that we were going to be boring and we're going to have a date at Celeste's place. Yes, the good old first date at the house. Her and Magdalena, they played woohoo outside, got to know each other a bit. And I found out that Magdalena has the disorganized attachment traits. Things were not looking too good. Things were not looking too good in the slightest. Um, but they had fun. You know, they, they got to know each other. They were getting very romantic very quickly. Probably a little too quickly. And I would say it was a pretty good night for the two of them. A pretty good date. But will we be seeing her ever again with her disorganized attachment trait? Hail to the naw. Hail to the naw. We will not. <laughs> All right. I noticed a change to her mood lit with the wild dates. Oh my God. She has one left. It's giving her a tense mood lit now. Oh, things are getting serious. She has 20 24 hours left and then we'll be done. But for right now, I think I'm going to let her go to sleep. She's had quite a day. And I think in the morning, what we're going to do is we're going to finally try to go back to that restaurant that I was trying to take Magdalena to that was giving me issues. See if we can take Sammy there and have a little breakfast date. I think that'd be cute. And that means after that, her seven wall dates will be over and she'll be able to reap its rewards. After that's over, we finally get to decide who Miss Girl is going to end up being with. She said last episode she was done with dating. She just wants to settle down and be in a relationship with somebody and she's had quite the prospects. So before we get to our last date, I want you to first leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're enjoying this video. Thank you so much for your love and support always and comment down below who do you think Celeste should end up with. And now let's get on with our final date. It is the morning time and Celeste is not feeling too good. She is actually extremely stressed. Oh, dance through the stress. Oh my God. Where did that come from? Okay, anyways, she's extremely, 
stress. Oh, it went up to three days. Then why are you stressing? I thought it was 24 hours. <laughs> Anyways, it is the next day. There was just a thunderstorm in the middle of the night, so now it's a little bit cloudy outside, but today is our last date. We have to go and go on our date with Sammy now. He is our last conquest of the day, last conquest in general, because she is fed up, fed up with me and my bullshit, and she is fed up with dating, okay? She wants to just make her decision already, and Sammy's our last date to get that reward so hopefully this works out hopefully we can go to the restaurant if not i'm gonna have to figure something else out oh she looks like sherry picked her outfit super cute let's go ahead and ask sammy on a date oh my god it's working oh my god it just did it with magdalena so magdalena was the problem of course she was all right time to get on with our date we need to grab a table first let's go ahead and get ordering the food out of the way because it's gonna probably take a while and in the process we can talk to him they can both have a little tequila sunrise okay let's get him the chili it's the chef's choice why not and for her let's get her pollo a la brasa okay let's do that oh he seems like he is happy to be here oh my god she's so mad girl relax this deadline is kicking her ass oh my god she's so upset get her that drink stat oh my he's fine as hell too hello where did these men come from oh he's so upset with her talking more about deep conversations listen i'm just trying to get this date over with i'm sick of you too let me see what do we know about sammy again um not much we don't know his traits should we try to find out his traits we know his turn-ons and his many many turn-offs and we should get to know his attraction and his satisfaction oh no oh no attraction that's a pretty rude thing to just randomly ask me i didn't feel like telling you that right now i'm about to whip out extreme violence i'm so serious i am so tempted and wreak havoc upon everybody in this restaurant look how high our romance is look how high our friendship is what are you saying what are we even doing here then he's unsatisfied what on earth do you have to be unsatisfied about? I hate all of you. I hate all of you. <laughs> we are going to pull over Nesme Volkov and we are going to drink that Soulmate Be Gone potion at this point. Love struck? <laughs> no, love sucks. Celeste, my girl, I am so sorry. These men are so unappreciative of your beauty and your grace. They should be kissing the floor that you walk on. Oh no. Oh God. Okay, he didn't see her. <laughs> No, he did. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Manuel, I want to say yes. I genuinely want to say yes, but this is up to the viewers. Manuel, Manuel, we just went over this. You, you just asked her this question. Please, you're making things worse. Worse. You're making things so much worse for you and her right now. Oh my god, that's painful. I don't want to say no. I don't want to say no. Oh my god, I feel so bad for Manuel. Manuel has genuinely, genuinely been the only male sim so far that's actually appreciated her. Let's be real. He's the only one that hasn't given her any issues and makes it clear that he wants to be with her. This is his second time proposing to her. He is very much in love with her. Oh my god, I don't want to keep doing this to him i feel so bad why do i feel so bad for a pixel man manuel please leave we will talk later i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i had to do that no why is he still here why is he still here go away our friendship is lower now. Great. Okay. Oh my god. He's really here watching her be on a date with another man. Bye. Sorry. He seems to be enjoying himself for somebody who is apparently very unsatisfied in their relationship. Now she just has to enthuse three times about her meal and the date will be complete and we can finally kiss all these trash men goodbye. He is sick of her. He hates her. I will make my way back to you, daddy. I promise. I promise. They are not enjoying themselves. They are barely even speaking to each other. Finally. They're done. Are you snooping right now? Is that what's going on? Not him reading her a poem. I don't want to hear it. And just like that, I'm canceling the date. She got 25 grand. She's a three-star celebrity. Oh my goodness. Okay, we finished it. We finished these seven wild dates. Yay. She got B-lister fame.
same. She got the heart bed. What? We already have the heart bed, but that's cool. And a free couples counseling for four weeks. Wow. Okay. So those are some pretty nice rewards. Congrats to you, girly. I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy for you. You deserve it after everything these men have put you through. And since we have concluded the seven wild dates challenge, it is now up for you as the viewer to decide who Celeste ends up with in the next episode. She is tired of me. She's tired of dating and I do not blame her after everything these quote men have put her through. She just wants to settle down. And I have personally been thinking that Manuel is her best option, but I know you guys like drama and chaos. So I want you to comment down below who you think Celeste should end up with. And in the next episode, we are going to try to get a marriage proposal out of that sim and finally seal Celeste's fate. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe if you did. Don't forget to tell me who you think Celeste should end up with. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.